Hi, I'm Mitch Mitchell. So last week, Twitter sent out a notification letting everybody know that on those, you know, those share things that we all have on our blogs and some of us have it on our websites where we can see how many times that people are sharing our stuff. Well, they said they were turning that off. And they did. Uh, I went back and looked at some of my older posts and I noticed that all the numbers that I did have were now gone. Now, I didn't necessarily mind them taking off numbers moving forward, but I was kind of a little bit thrown that they took them off going backwards. And then I thought about it a little bit and I said, so why did I care so much about seeing those numbers anyway? And it's an interesting thought. It's interesting to think about because I've had some posts where I've had some pretty good sharing, but I've had some posts where there's always been no sharing whatsoever, at least from the blog itself. I've noticed on Twitter that I have people who share my articles there and every once in a while someone will share an article of mine off of Facebook or on LinkedIn. It's rare that it happens on Google Plus, but you know, it happens. But I never see any numbers counts for any of those. And I started thinking about it and I said to myself, well, self, because you know, sometimes when I talk to myself, I'll call me self. I said, so self, do you really need those numbers to have any kind of idea of where, uh, you know, really what's going on with your stuff? And I thought about it a little bit and I said, no. You know what? Sometimes we get caught up in the numbers game and it can be daunting and it can freak you out. And I know that, you know, I used to have my period many years ago where I was always checking my analytics and I would see my numbers up there really high. And if they were low or they were dipping, then I would start to fret and say, oh my goodness, I got to do anything I can to get those numbers, you know, back up. And then the Google animals came, panda, penguin, hummingbird, uh, foxfire, you know, <laughs> you name it, name an animal. Maybe there was velociraptor somewhere in there because that's how it feels. It impacted a lot of my sites traffic dropped drastically. Now, I don't fully understand that, but traffic dra dropped drastically, and then my income, my Google AdSense income dropped drastically. I was averaging close to $600 a month, and now, most months, I barely cracked 100 Last month, I didn't crack $100. And you're like, wow, what the devil happened? I didn't do anything different with my sites. I used to be considered kind of authority with most of them, and totally gone. Hey, you know what? I have to think about it a little better and say, is it Google that I need to rely on to help me drive traffic to my sites or is it me? Luckily, I discovered hashtags and I discovered Twitter. Okay, I'd been on Twitter for a long time, but I'd never thought about hashtags. And so I started promoting it differently there. And like I said, I'm, I've got a lot of people sharing my stuff there. I have a lot of people adding me to groups uh, or their list, which is interesting. I never had even noticed that happening before. And on a bunch of different topics. So I'm not going to fret as much over the numbers. And I think that, you know, in general, it is good to kind of see what's going on with the videos, uh, you know, here. Um, not that I get tons of views, but you know what? One of my videos just crossed over 5,000 views. I'll take that. <laughs> not the majority of them, but one of them did. So that's kind of cool. Um, I need to probably work on that a little bit better. But overall, don't get caught up in all the numbers. It will freak you out. It'll drive you crazy. It'll make your mind spin. Um, just do your thing. Make sure that you're promoting your stuff. And that's probably the best you can ask for. I mean, you can always improve. I can always be better. One of these years, I'll learn how to edit my videos so that I come across like Phil DeFranco. Now, wouldn't that be something else? Anyway, I'm Mitch Mitchell. I hope y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, which is in a couple of days. And now that I've said that, I just made this a non-evergreen video because someone's going to be watching this thing in March and say, hey, it ain't Thanksgiving. Y'all, when I made it, <laughs> it was a couple days before Thanksgiving. So anyway, you take care and enjoy your holiday.